Huge shout out to One Hit Down who has hooked me up with 217 Agility Arena tickets, so we can actually use that to buy some pretty cool stuff. I'm not really sure what else we can buy with it, we already have enough Agility XP, but one of the achievements is to exchange 50 tickets, so yep. There we go, we completed the achievement, so shout out to that guy again. Right, we just got the achievement for killing someone in the FTP arena, so that's quite nice. Good fight to that too. Right, we've just defeated the Dagonoth Mother and completed the quest Horror from the Deep, so that's another achievement done out of the way. And I think that this guy gives you also a, a god book which you actually need, which is for another achievement, so let me just talk to this guy. So yeah, you can preach from that something and yeah there's another achievement done so pretty nice to get out of the way all right we have just got another achievement basically you need to summon a buy a uh, bronze minus tool which you actually buy straight from here and then use the scrolls so um that's a usable rush scroll so that's another achievement done another achievement was also to bury a hundred bones so yeah that should be the achievement done that's another nice achievement to get out of the way all right so we just hit 20 wilderness keys so eight red keys and 12 orange keys so we, we need another 19 to go all right so hunter is actually really quick one of the achievements is to catch 75 red chin chompers and like the catch rate at 99 hunter is really fast so yeah this is a really quick achievement to get out of the way so yeah, pretty sure that's the last one. Yeah, there we go. Catch 75 Reg and Chompers, so that's pretty much done already. So, yeah, that's another achievement done. And, yeah, it's looking quite green at the moment. So, let's kill a KBD next. Right, so, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a kill. We've done quite a lot of damage, but good fight, KBD. That should be another achievement done. What are we going to get, though? Oh, I need Dragon Bones. Oh, well, I guess we'll take that, but on to the next achievement. Right, so we didn't have to do the mini game or anything, we just prayed at it to get a god cape, so that's quite, that's pretty easy. Right, so we actually had to buy a toad plex for 4 mil from the boss, which is quite expensive, but that does mean we can now make a Zerodome in Brew, so another achievement done. Right, so I'm building t the two bedrooms. I'm not sure if we need to build a bed in each one. Um, what do we even need? Planks, steel nails, bolster cloth, hopefully not, but if we do, then I'll have to go build them then. Right, yeah, there we go, we hired a servant, so that's another achievement done. Um, buy something with Tockle, so basically, for that achievement, there's actually an elite one where you have to buy an amulet of fury with Tockle, so I thought I might as well do both of those at the same time. So I actually need 2.7 million Tockle. I currently only have 32,000, so we're gonna have to do a lot of fire capes. Right, so we just completed a duo slayer task, so I decided to actually like get a slayer task for these, so because that's another achievement to complete 10 duo slayer tasks or something, but almost at 700k Tockle, uh, we need another 2 million to go, so still have quite a long way to go. So what I might actually do is like because I want to finish all my medium tasks off first, I'll just like buy something small, so that's the achievement done pretty much. And uh, yeah, start like try and complete all the other medium ones. Alright, so one of the achievements is to make a tuna potato. So basically you buy a potato from over here, cook it, and then use a pat of butter on it. So let's do that, and you make a potato with butter. Alright, so apparently next you put the tuna into a bowl to make chopped tuna. Alright, you use the sweet corn on the fire to make cooked sweet corn. Please don't burn. Right, use that on the bowl. Tuna and corn. And then use the bowl on the potato to make a tuna potato. So, there we go. That's done now. Right, so now we need to make an admiral pie. So, first of all, you get a pot of flour from over there and a bucket and fill up with water. And then you make a pastry dough by using them on each other. And then you buy a pie dish from that guy over there. Put that on the pie to make a pie shell. And then I'm pretty sure you use the salmon on that to make part of an admiral pie. And after that, then you use a tuna. And then I think you need to buy another potato, so you use that to make a raw admiral pie. And then finally, all you need to do is basically cook it on the range. Please don't burn, we're 99 cooking. Come on. Oh, there we go. Cook an admiral pie, so another achievement done. Right, so another achievement while I'm waiting for an evil tree to spawn is add bolt tips to 500. So, yeah, just finished making 500 emerald bolt tips, which we have loads of emeralds from 99 crafting, so... That's where we got them from, so I need to attach them to some mithril bolts, I think. They are in stock, luckily, so just buy, like, 400 of those. I think they, like, all use at once as well. Oh, that is really easy, so add bolts to 500 bolts, that was done now. Right, one of the achievements is to kill a player in Clan Wars, so rest in peace, fam. <laughs> rest in peace, fam. He's already got the completion escape, so slightly jealous. He looks in, like, pretty sick gear, to be honest, but yeah, come on, die, dude. Good fight. Thanks for your bank, bro. But yeah, there we go, another achievement done. Right, so we'll build a telescope is another... Oh, we need a hammer, one sec. So yeah, we actually we actually got the hammer and saw this time, so build a wooden telescope, and we can actually use that to like see the next star time. Yeah, so one hour and, 30, one hour and 33 minutes till the next star. Right, we just managed to complete a dungeoneering floor without eating. We had to like, 
it was it took a few attempts but we managed to do it so that's quite nice right so we finished defeating this evil tree and we managed to get six magic seeds 1.5 mil cash and 257 magic logs so these actually give some really decent xp right we just defeated an evil yew tree which is really nice so that's one of the achievements the only one we need left is an evil elder tree so that'll probably take quite a while we got 126 uncut diamonds some nastartium seeds some cash and a medium clue scroll which is interesting so pretty decent loot overall All right so we have just finished an elder tree so we've got 360 teak logs two mil cash whoa that is pretty good and that's also an elite achievement done so really nice to get that out of the way All right we've just got an achievement for chopping 125 magic logs so i'm currently working towards the achievement chop 500 magic logs which is an elite task i'm pretty sure so yeah over there chop 500 but yeah, you actually chop these like really quickly and you also need to open 50 birds nest for an achievement you can basically just teleport to these into bank really quickly because there's a bank right there but yeah we've currently got quite a lot all right i think we're about to get the achievement for chop 500 magic logs and there it is so that's pretty much done we have so much wood cutting xp 35 million wood cutting xp that's just ridiculous but yeah we complete that achievement but i don't think we actually got enough birds nest from that so um, we'll probably need to chop like willow trees or something to get the rest of them. Alright, yeah, so we didn't end up getting that many. We got like, yeah, so we managed to get 19 from them, but we do need to open 50 for the achievements. So we have another 31 to go, which will probably take a while. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Alright, even though we are 99 prayer already, we have like 18 more prayer XP. We did get the achievement tool for our 100 frost dragon bones, which is quite nice. So, yeah, that's another achievement done. Alright, so I think I've got enough um, tokens to buy a chaotic. So, I'll probably buy a chaotic crossbow because I'll probably end up like dying and well, bossing or something. But, purchase a chaotic item, that is the last medium task that we needed. So, we've now completed all of the medium tasks, which is really nice to get out of the way. Like now the nice scorecard is like a row of green which is really nice to see and we're 99 out of 169 achievements done so making a lot of progress all right so we decided to do a bit of dungeoneering with this guy called meme and we've amassed quite a number of tokens so i'm just going to use them on dungeoneering quickly in the hope so yeah 520k tokens which is quite a lot right there we go we just got 99 dungeoneering which is really nice to get out of the way we only need room crafting that's literally the last level that we need we do need to get 120 dungeoneering for comp cape so i'm probably going to spend all my tokens on the rest of these and try and get myself to complicate right we're currently 102 dungeoneering and we completed the achievement kill 500 monsters in dungeoneering which is quite nice it's still quite a way off 120 so right we just got the achievement to spot 10 penguins and we need 35 for the elite achievement though right so one of the achievements is to actually kill 15 next so it's nice to do that now and get it out of the way early so yeah, this next is almost dead. If we get a next piece as a drop, that'd be insane loot. But apparently these also have like quite a common chance of dropping effigies. And like we need 10 effigies for the achievement. Apparently they're like really rare. So um, it might be take a lot of effort to get all of them. Ancient page four. No way. Like we also need one of each page for the get the completionist cape. So that is really nice to get out of the way. One of the pages. Right. Another next kill coming up. And we got. Oh my God. We got an effigy. Yes. That is exactly what we're looking for. I'm going to throw that straight on rune crafting. Right, I'm not sure whether this is actually our kill. Oh wait, no way, Torva boots! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, boys, we just got Torva boots. Holy shit, that's worth an absolute bag. Oh my god! <laughs> Artisan rune crafting. So that got us to 90 rune crafting from 84. So that's a lot of XP gain right there. But yeah, we're 9 levels off 99 construction and 7 levels off 120, so very close to maxing. Come on. Ancient page 1. I'm pretty sure that's one of the pages that we need. We already have the ancient page 4, so that's really nice to get out of the way. Another next kill coming in. What will we get from it, though? Ancient page 2. That's what I'm talking about. So we've literally got all of the pages except for the ancient page 3. I think you can get duplicates, so so far we've been really lucky not to get a duplicate. Ancient page 3! I, I, I actually think that's the last page that we need. Right, so we managed to complete the achievement defeat next 15 times, which is quite nice, and magic logs and grime torsals. So, right, yeah, so we managed to get all four ancient pages, which is really nice to get out of the way. So, that's next pretty much done. Right, we just got the achievement cook 100 sharks, which is the first hard achievement. Right, so time to build the gilded altar. That's another achievement done. So, yeah, there we go. Build a gilded altar. And that looks pretty cool as well. 
Right, so there are all 10 of our overloads being made and we got the achievements, so pretty nice to get that out of the way. Right, so another achievement is to actually make a dragonfire shield. I got this, um, I think I bought it from the player and shops, but yeah, there we go, got the achievement, so. Right, so we managed to kill the chaos elemental, which was one of the achievements, so we got 500 air runes. Not the best of loot, but at least that's the achievement done. Right, so bought 15 org bones from the player and shops, and that's another achievement done. Right, one of the achievements to farm a palm tree, and there we go, that's another hard achievement done, so 109 achievements so far. Right, guys, so we pretty much need 91 rune crafting to make double nature runes, and we're very close to that, 3.5k XP, so we're also trying to like craft the maximum amount of runes that we can for 10,000 runes, so 4,586. I think we just got the level there, so 91 rune crafting, so we can now make double nature runes. Right, so let's go complete the achievement craft 50 plus nature runes simultaneously so we should have the rune crafting level and there we go got the achievement so yeah we're now at 110 achievements all right so we managed to get 119 dungeoneering so we're only one level away from one 120 so all right guys it has taken absolutely ages but we are finally coming up to 120 dungeoneering so we get around 600k xp per run and around 60k tokens so we literally need to do like five runs for a chaotic so at this high level you get loads of xp and tokens so it does like scale up as you level up so that's quite cool feature on here but yeah after this we should be getting 120 dungeoneering and there we go that looks really nice so we literally need eight more rune crafting levels and then we'll be maxed so yeah um that is really nice to get out of the way